Hey folks, I'm back. Pat, sorry. Let's play a paper computer game. <laughs> <laughs> Today we are uh, we are playing a new game that uh, Ari is not yet familiar with, and not so he'll all. and he will learn about it at the same time you do. So uh, let's begin. So this game is entitled Pokemon Stop. <laughs> Wait, okay. why is there a droid? <laughs> it's a pretty good drawing of Ash Ketchum. Thank you. God, he's such a little bitch. <laughs> he is terrible, too. He can't win at anything. <laughs> then it's, uh... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so... I'm totally gonna get banned for the music. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> um. So, since you have such an unfavorable opinion of Ash Ketchum, it's good that uh, you are not playing as Ash Ketchum in this game. Okay. You are instead playing as Gash Ketchum. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and your entire life, uh, you have. B you've looked up to your cousin Ash. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> you've, you've admired him traveling from gym to gym, getting defeated by everyone, <laughs> <laughs> getting pity badges, <laughs> <laughs> and you have uh, always strived to uh, follow in his footsteps. So, <laughs> um, you are now ten years old, and as such, you are therefore of age to start. Uh, traveling the world to become a Pokemon trainer in your own region. You live in a different region from Ash. O okay. Um, is that the <laughs> official age that you're allowed to? Yes. Like, which is canon to the yes, universe? Yes, is yes, it? Yes. <laughs> Isn't that a little young? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but hey, I didn't make this world. <laughs> it's definitely a little young. <laughs> okay. So, uh... They must not have very many problems with, like... Kidnapping. <laughs> I guess not. Well, hey, the kids are protected by the Pokemon. It's okay. I guess. The Pokemon faint pretty easily. <laughs> That's fair. So, um, alright. So, it, you are ready to set out. You you have stocked your backpack. You've got Pokeballs. Specific isn't, that, isn't that like BB-88? Is, is that his name? Uh, BB-8. Yeah. BB-8. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. 88 <laughs> is the guy from um, that series, the Star Wars game. Yeah. IG-88. IG-88, the bounty hunter, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the robot, the <laughs> droid bounty hunter. Hell yeah. Or I guess drone? No, droid. Yeah, yeah, droid. Drones are the, what, the, um, what the Empire use. Yes. Yes. Yes, this the guys is... are like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those guys. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. As pictured... In the opening scene of um, Empire. Yeah, yeah. Probe droids, they're called. Probe droids? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Um, drones. No, I don't think so. The probe droids? Yeah, for sure. I'm skeptical. We should look this up. We should. But there's no internet. <laughs> anyway, so, um, you have, uh. Wait, I can't do anything on the first screen? That's just the cover. Bullshit screen. <laughs> so, um, you you stock up your backpack. You got your Pokeballs. You got your 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 uh, you know, I don't know whatever Pokemon trainers have. And I'm sure they have like a Pokedex too. Yes, you have a Pokedex. Yeah. But it's empty, so it has no entry so far. Um, and uh. Here you are. You you have just left. <laughs> this is uh, this is your hometown of Mallet Town. <laughs> so I'm Gash, and this is Mallet. <laughs> yes, mm. that is correct. And there you are. You're Gash. Uh, this is this is your home. That's where you just came out of. So it's not worth going back in there. There's nothing to to find. You can't really go in there. All right. <laughs> you're inside. There's no screen. What do you do? Your your mom's there. Um, so, uh, what do you do? Your mom's there? I don't know. Is that all? That's all that's there? It's just an empty room with my mother? No, there's, you know, there's a kitchen. There's, you know, she's milling around, doing things. There's a kitchen? Yeah. Is there a fridge? Yeah. 
What's in the fridge? You know, food. There's, there's a, you know, peanut butter, cheese, you know, very whatever you'd have in your fridge. Whatever I'd have in my fridge, or whatever <laughs> gash ketchup of Mallet Town. <laughs> whatever gash ketchup of Mallet Town would have in his fridge. And I can decide this. <laughs> no, but <laughs> I'm just saying it's, you know, generic stuff, nothing interesting. So do we eat Pokemon in this universe? What do we use for, like, is there meat? Is everyone vegetarian? <laughs> because I um, assume that every, like, living thing is a Pokemon, right? Isn't that, like, what the theory says? Including, like, me? Because, like, I can, like... Cause <laughs> in theory, people can take, like, electrical blasts and, like, fire blasts and stuff and just be fine. <laughs> well, you, you accessing your memories... You don't know anything about whether you are a Pokemon, but you all you remember is that, yes, there are certain kinds of Pokemon that are eaten. For food. Like what? Um, like a Chocobo? <laughs> uh, you're not familiar with that kind of Pokemon? But uh, if so, you, it would probably be, you know, just, just various things, you know, chicken-like things, you know, fish-like things, that sort of thing. Okay. Do I have any Pokeballs? Um, yes, you have five Pokeballs, and I should give you an inventory. Do you have a piece of paper I can use by any chance? Um, so in theory, there are fainted Pokemon inside this fridge, and I should collect them in my Pokeballs, <laughs> and then go to the Pokemon Center <laughs> to revive them. You can try that if you want. <laughs> excellent, excellent. I will. <laughs> Alright, uh, so... You uh, you open the fridge, and all right. Here's your inventory. So you use the Pokeball. That's a K. Yeah, that's a K. And well, you, nowadays. And you got um. And by the way, I'm just gonna like put this out there, um, because you're not gonna like this, but I'm sorry. You just gotta lay it on you the way it is. Uh, your backpack and your pockets and everything are completely stuffed with gear, so you do not have any room to store any more items you might pick up along your way. Except for, like, more Pokeballs and stuff. Okay, so what is that gear? Uh, you have your Pokedex, you have your Pokeballs, you got clothes, you got, you know, essentials like that, and you have a few other... Pokemon things, which... No, you know what? Actually, that's it. That's it. So you got your clothes, you got your Pokeballs, and that's it. Okay, well, I'm not going to need to change your clothes. I'll leave that behind. <laughs> okay, but uh, you're about to do that, but you don't, because, like, you think, wait a second, I'm, I really need that change of clothes, because, like, you're going to start to smell. <laughs> Just find a squirtle and have him hose me down. <laughs> All right, where are you gonna look for a squirtle? <laughs> Fine, let's leave the damn house. All right, I'm feeling defeated already. <laughs> okay, so what's this? It's a tree. Okay, what are those? They're like uh, little flowers in the ground. Can I pick them? Yeah. Uh, so when you pick them, you notice that the bottom of the stem is like a little bit reddish. Do you still want to pick it? reddish hell. Like, as it gets towards the bottom of the stem, like, it just looks red in color. Yeah, I do. Okay. You got a Pikmin. Pikmin! Oh, cool! Can I get some more Pikmin? Uh, yeah, you get, um... I'm gonna pick all the flowers. One, two, three, four, five of them. Boop, 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 boop. They pop up, and they look up at you expectantly, and they, they, they start following you. Sweet. Alright, so you got five Pikmin. Can I erase them? I guess so. It doesn't matter. No, I'll leave it. I just want to see what you say. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh... I mean, we can probably just remember you have five of these, because, like... Okay, so what's this? It's just grass. I'm having more, you see. Okay, so I've never played Pikmin. What do Pikmin actually do? 
Um, well, right now they're just following you around. What do you want to try to do with them? I don't know. Ah, yeah, whatever. Um, what are these buildings? So, uh, that's Mary's house, and that is, uh, the professor's play lab. Professor who? Professor Ginkgo. Ginkgo? Yes. Who's that? Uh, that looks to be Mary. Mary? Yeah. Okay, what's this? Uh, that looks to be, uh, water. Can I go swimming? Yeah, sure. Okay, you go swimming. You, you go over here, take off your clothes, jump in the water. It's nice. So I'm skinny dipping? Are you? That's up to you. I don't know. Do I have a bathing suit? Uh, no, you didn't bring one. Yes, I, I am. Skinny dipping? Okay, you're skinny dipping. <laughs> okay, is there anything in the water? No. What about the bottom? Uh, no, just some just uh, sand. How deep can I dive? Uh, about like. Now this is a coastal town. Yeah. So it's not that far. So this is the ocean. Yeah. Not like a lake. No. Is there any fish in there? Well, it's it's more like a, a bay that leads into a, the ocean. And uh, yeah, there's there's um fish, but they're far off. You can't really you can't really see them, and they're out of range of your pokeballs. Okay. I guess Pokemon trainers have, have fished the, the shores dry. Well, that's pretty terrible. They really need to learn some uh, environmentally conscientious fishing tactics. Indeed. Okay. Well, I guess let's go into Mary's house. Okay, uh, you go inside. Um, Mary's mom answers the door. She says, Oh, hi, Gash. How are you? I heard you're going out for your f to uh, become a trainer. I'm so proud of you. And she says, um, "You've just missed Mary. I think she might have left already. But if you head towards the path, you might still be able to catch her." I wonder if I'll be able to. <laughs> What's uh, Mary's mother's name? Phyllis. Phyllis. Yeah, Phyllis. Really? Yeah. Okay. So what else is in this house? If there's also no screen? Yeah, also no screen. It's just it's just a house, you know, whatever. There's a kitchen, there's a living room, you know, that kind of stuff. Just a kitchen and a living room. Nothing else. No, there's just staircase, there's bathrooms, and you know, what upstairs. <laughs> She's like, um, there's there's uh, nothing for you there. All right, so you go upstairs and you're in, you're in Mary's room. Now what? There's just Mary's room? And there's the the mom's room is on across the hall. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's in Mary's room? Uh, I need to do some opposition research. <laughs> All right, there's a there's Pokemon posters. Uh, she has a poster of Pikachu. She thinks Pikachu is cute. Uh, there's a dartboard has your face on it. And there's like darts stuck in. It. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Um, and, uh, she has, like, little Pokemon toys. And, uh, you know, like, pink bed sheets and, you know. Is there any reason why this person wouldn't like me? What have I ever done to Mary? <laughs> well, uh, you do seem to remember there's been, um, there's been some, uh, you have butted heads on occasion, you know. You've known her since you were kids, and, and well, you still are kids, really, but... You've known her the whole time, and, you know, you've, you, you have uh, gotten on each other's nerves a bit. <laughs> okay. I mean, do I have a dartboard of, like, Mary in my room? No. You're more of a say fair, you know. Nice. So what's in here? Alright, that's Professor Ginko's lab. Are you gonna go there? Yeah. All right, uh, uh, Mary's mom goes, uh, 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 have a good trip, guys. <laughs> um, so you Thank leave. you, Phyllis, you're the best. Uh, and there, uh, you enter, and there is, that's you, and uh, there is Professor Ginko. <laughs> Look at the weave. And he says, ah, hello, Gash. 
<laughs> oh no, what's going on back here? Uh, it looks like a little creature in a, in a jar. Um, he says, Gash, now that this is the, uh, the day that you set out, I've decided to do something special. I've prepared three Pokemon for you, and but you can only choose one of them. And uh, he says, if, um, he says, I was hoping that you could do some research for me. You see, the Pokedex that I've already given you, um, I'm trying to do research on the strange and unique Pokemon, unique to this region. Would you mind uh, chronicling the, the strange forms that Pokemon species have taken by uh, catching Pokemon and then recording them in your Pokedex? Um, okay. Excellent. Uh, so, with you, with you doing my research, we'll be done in no time. Uh, now, uh, you should uh, choose your starting Pokemon. Which one do you prefer? We've got Krypton Firefly, Envy, and Creeper. I choose you, Tardigrade. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's adorable. <laughs> All right, so um, you can look at the Pokédex entries for any of these three, if you like. Sure. Let's do it. Which one? Um, let's look at Creeper. Alright. Creeper! This Pokémon is made from blocks of peat moss. It waits till another Pokémon is nearby, builds up air in its sacks, and explodes concussively, discharging its spores and destroying everything nearby. Wait, what? Should I read that again? Yeah, sure. Creeper! This Pokémon is made Ooh. from blocks of peat moss. Nice, nice. Okay, I want this one just because it's never cool. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> that one is off limits. <laughs> you sure it's not like the evolved form of Envy? <laughs> They're both kind of tentacly. Oh, that is true. That is true. Okay, you can do the, do the entry again for that. Okay. This Pokémon is made from blocks of peat moss. It waits till another Pokémon is nearby, builds up air in its sacks, and explodes concussively, discharging its spores and destroying everything nearby. Okay, what about the Krypton Firefly? Alright, Krypton Firefly. <laughs> this Pokémon is said to originate from a long-dead planet in deep space. Due to Earth's lighter gravity, the Firefly has become an incredibly fast flyer with durable skin. It also breathes fire. Okay. What about Envy? <laughs> Alright. So what are all these tentacles all over Envy? <laughs> hold on, hold on, getting to her. Envy. This aquatic Pokémon is part of the shadowy Umbrian family. It's so envious of the living, its hairs have each taken the form of a beautiful woman. These lure men into the water where they're dragged down to their deaths. Creeper blows himself up. <laughs> Envy kills people. <laughs> and the firefly is just a fire breathing fly. That's right. Krypton, of course. Yes. Okay, what if I don't want any of them? Well, There's those are your options. <laughs> That's like your Pikachu. <laughs> so, what's this? It can survive anything. Uh, that looks like um, an advanced scanning device. Okay, what about that? That's like a little ring. It's like a green ring. What about this? That looks like a, some sort of Pokemon egg. It's got like green spots on it. 
What's in this jar? Looks like a uh, looks like a uh, weird creature. I mean, you could ask the professor about it. It's his lab. Okay, professor, what's in that jar? He says, "Oh, don't worry about that. That's one of my experiments." Okay, what's in what's this? That jar is empty. What's the note say? Uh, be back soon. This lab just got a lot creepier. <laughs> yeah. What's this? Uh, that, well, it looks like three golden triangles, um, connected to each other, and the professor, like, runs over and goes, uh, don't worry about that, that's, uh, not important. And not a toy. Okay. What's this back here? It looks like a cage built into the wall, and there's, like, it's shadowy, so you can't really see what's in there, but there's, like, a angry-looking eye peeking out. Okay. Okay, ask the professor what's in there. He goes, uh, oh, that's just, uh, that's just, that's just my pet. Fluffy. Fluffy, huh? Yeah. So what kind of belt is the professor wearing? It's got a weird little uh, symbol on it. Looks kind of like this. Something like that. Does that have any significance to me? No. So, professor, what's the deal with your staff? He says... Oh, do you like it? I've uh, I've retrofitted a Pokeball such that it's constantly just in the state of opening. It releases energy, which my staff can use. I use it for uh, all sorts of purposes. It's very handy. <laughs> so it's Professor Ginkus? No, it's Professor Ginko. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Can I, can I take that green ring? Uh, professor says, oh, no, 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 don't worry about that. That's, uh, that's, uh, not a toy. Yeah, but, but I'm going out on my own into the world now. He says, no, 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 no just, just trust me. They're like, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, little boys shouldn't have things like that. <laughs> okay. I am going to signal my Pikmin to go and get it. <laughs> All right. The Pikmin goes, and, like, the professor, like, watches it. It, like... See, the Pikmin is, like, this tall. So it, like, walks around the desk and, like, goes up to the wall underneath and, like, starts, like, hitting the wall with its leaf. <laughs> and nothing happens. The professor's like, uh... Cute little guy you got there. Thank you. So, uh, which one, which one of these guys do you want? I can only pick one. Yeah. Can I pick more than one? No. It's the region. Um. Professor, which one do you suggest I take? Uh, that's up to you. Oh, well, uh. Whatever, whatever your style is, uh, is the Pokemon for you. I wouldn't worry about it. A, a good Pokemon trainer can always find more of a, it's of any Pokemon in the wild. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take Creeper. Alrighty, I'm taking Creeper. <laughs> um. He says, excellent choice, Ash. The Creeper will give you an explosive edge. <laughs> of course he says that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what do you do? I don't know. Professor, is there any other advice you can give me? He says, be careful out there in the wild. There's strange things. But also, stay curious. guy is so not helpful. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave. He says, also, if you run out of Pokeballs, come back here. You can, uh, purchase some from me. Okay. I'll buy some now. Well, looks like you're, uh, okay, well, you have, uh, well, it looks like you have zero Poke Dollars, so I can't sell any to you now. You'll just have to earn some money in the wild. Okay. 
Okay, I'll leave. Alright. What do you do? Uh, what's all this? Uh, that is like... Natural barriers, you can't go there. It's like, I don't know, bushes and stuff, but perfectly manicured. And you can't pass through them. <laughs> Alright. It's like so thick, it's almost like a wall. I'll try and leave town. <laughs> Alright. Um, when you try and leave town, uh, you run into Mary. She, sa uh, she says... Well, well, look who it is. I see you've got your own Pokemon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks, It's like you think you have stand a chance of being anything other than a loser. I do. Yeah, well, prove it. She, she pulls out a Pokeball. You're going down. <laughs> it opens up. Bam. Uh, which Pokemon do you choose? I choose no Pokemon. I walk by. <laughs> <laughs> she blocks your way. No. <laughs> like her, her, her uh, Krypton Firefly like blocks your way. It's like blowing fire to prevent you from advancing. Okay. I'll have my Pikmin go carry Mary away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you uh, you send out your Pikmin. Um, they go, and the Krypton Firefly like scorches them. <laughs> now they're all just like blackened husks. He's like, ha, nice try. Uh, I, I think one of them managed to smack it with its leaf though. Before Smack it. what? The, the Krypton Firefly. They weren't attacking the Krypton Firefly. Oh. Alright, then it didn't. <laughs> they, get, they just get toasted. Are, are, they, are they dead? Uh, no. You can put them back in your Pokeballs and try and revive them later if you like. But I have five of them. They take five different Pokeballs? Yeah. <laughs> okay, can I save game? Yeah. Okay, then I won't do that. <laughs> Fine. I guess I'll send out my creeper. Okay, excellent. The battle's on. <laughs> Alright. Send out your creeper. Alright, what do you want creeper to do? Well, what can creeper do? Explode. <laughs> Okay, we'll wait until the Krypton Firefly comes close and then explode. Alright. Uh, the Krypton Firefly blasts you with fire. <laughs> you're pretty singy. It's like can't, your creeper can't take much more. The Krypton Firefly is close. Boom! <laughs> Knocks him back. He's like... Boom! Um, yes. <laughs> uh, Krypton Firefly comes closer scorches again you're like almost burnt to a crisp what do you do but isn't my guy dead your creeper yeah yeah but he's back he, it's fine don't worry about it wait so he explodes and comes back together yeah oh it explode again <laughs> alright you beat the firefly yeah. Mary says, no way! No way a dweeb like you could beat me! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, and for winning, you get a hundred Pokey Dollars. Does Mary have any more money? <laughs> She says, stay off my money, jerk. I'm the jerk? <laughs> you forced me to fight you. <laughs> she says, 
That's what Pokemon trainers do. Okay. <laughs> so is, is her mom a Pokemon trainer? No. So I can't go force her mom to fight me? <laughs> you, uh, I don't think so. Well, you can try. So, like, what if I went into her house and was just like, fight me or this is my house? <laughs> Are you going to do that? No. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Alright, so what do you do? She's out of the way now. Hey Mary, you want to come adventure with me? She says, I'm not adventuring with a dweeb like you. But I just beat you. How am I a dweeb? She says, oh, It's like you've gotten me to a logical trap. You damn right. She says, Fine, but I'm not helping you in any Pokemon battles. You'll have to do those on your own. Cool. That's fine. Fine. So she follows you. Nice. All right, you going? Sure. All right. All right. So. You come up here. What do you do? What's that? You can't see that because there's like a wall in the way. So you're coming out right here. Okay, I'll go over here and I'll go over there. Okay. Uh, you go over and it's when you get closer, you see that it's like um, a giant broccoli wearing like sunglasses and with a crane crane dangling out of its head. Um. <laughs> you smell like a cauliflower from here. <laughs> he says, That ain't cool, man. That's racism. <laughs> Let's talk to this cauliflower. Alright. When you get close, you see, like, he says, First of all, he identifies himself as Kid Funkadelic Jr. And he says, Kid Funkadelic Jr.? Yeah. Okay. And he says, he says, none of this is right. You've got to wake up. This isn't real. Pokeball. <laughs> and he has got. <laughs> Wait, how do I wake up? <laughs> no. <laughs> eight ball. Oh, no, an eight ball. <laughs> God, I hate those things. Shit, how do you beat eight balls? Yeah, but, um... And I have a creeper? Mm hmm Alright. I'll go fight the eight ball myself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, you get, uh, slashed. And you die. So I'm dead? Yeah. That was a bad idea. <laughs> Damn. Ten-year-olds can't beat eight balls. God, I hate eight balls. <laughs> okay, save game. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Wait. So I like went over here, and then he approached me. Oh no! I thought you were going. You, I thought you said you were going here, and then you were going over to him. I was just looking at what he was. Oh. I guess I'm fighting him anyway. Yeah. Okay, go creeper, explode. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The creeper goes over. <laughs> the eight ball looks. <laughs> He's kind of messed up. But then he lunges forward and, like, <laughs> rips creeper apart. Do you have another Pokemon to send out? No. Okay, so then you lose. Okay, now what? Uh. Game over. Okay. You have to save game. Okay, save game. Alright. Okay, so I won't approach this guy. Because <laughs> obviously I can't beat this cauliflower mother. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's, who's in the trees over here? That would be a Pokemon. It is... 
Oops. A Zumbini? Yeah, Zumbini. It goes... What do you do? Hey, Zumbini, do you want to come on a mystical adventure with me to solve uh, math problems <laughs> and word problems? It goes... Burr? And logical puzzles? <laughs> and it comes forward. Alright, come hop in my Pokeball. Alright, uh, you open your Pokeball. Congratulations, you got a Zumbini. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what's over here? And that. Ooh, another screen. Mm hmm. You come out over here. What's this? Uh, that looks like a tall, dark, imposing tower. Can I go inside it? Uh, you go up to the door and it goes, and like the the computerized voice says, three badges acquired. Oh my god, three badges. Okay. Um. So these are walls. Yes. By the way, you only have four Pokeballs now. Okay. Who's that? That would be... Wait, I don't want to go fight him. I just want to know who he is. What does he look like? He's a guy holding a bug net and a Pokeball. Oh, God. Okay, can I, like, sneak past him? You're going to try? Or... Well... The only way you can go is this way. You're going to do that? Yeah. All right. You do that. He goes forward. He says, Hey, I catch bugs. The Pokeball. Oh, my God. These people are so hostile. <laughs> right? Hey folks, thanks for watching. I've broken our first play session of Pokemon Stop into multiple episodes. The next one should be up very shortly. In the meantime, uh, if you'd like to try playing this game or any of our other paper computer games with your own friends in your own area, you can head on over to our official website uh, where we have the games that can be downloaded in PDF format. They're completely free, so if you're interested, uh, please don't hesitate. We'll have Pokemon Stop up there shortly. And uh, they're all free, so uh, thanks for watching.